And another one. The latest anonymous letter being sent to media and making the rounds on WhatsApp comes from men and women in uniform serving in the Guam National Guard. The six-page letter first mentions an Office of Complex Investigations National Guard Bureau Command Climate Survey conducted to, quote, determine the validity of the transition report issues raised by the Leongara Ertsenori administration. The administration's trans report said guard morale was low. There was a lack of women in senior leadership and sexual harassment, favoritism, and a hostile work environment were the norm in the Guard. The letter says, We suspect the OCI report will invalidate the transition team's report and will also identify problems with the current leadership and the hostile work environment they have created. The letter goes on to detail alleged problems with two off-island hires, Adjutant General Esther Agagi hired shortly after taking over his tag. The letter says Colonel Corey Gacano and Lieutenant Colonel Tazleen Panton were hired, quote, over more qualified and seasoned officers, and that both officers lack leadership and experience required for their positions and have demonstrated a self-serving attitude toward the soldiers and airmen who call Guam home. Colonel Gacano is Agagi's chief of staff, and Lieutenant Colonel Panton is her director of personnel. It also alleges Gacono directed Panton to make changes to and update the Guard's standard operating procedures for hiring and retention, changes the writers of the letter say are in violation of federal policies. The Guard anonymous letter is the latest in several that have been sent to Island Media. Letters from employees at the Guam Visitors Bureau and the Department of Corrections have also made the rounds. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.